For the first time, Turkey is threatening more than a trade embargo and likening Netanyahu to Adolf Hitler. Welcome everyone in today's video. We're going to tell you Turkey soon, invade Israel. Warning by Erdogan. Israel and Turkey are engaged in a verbal spat after President Recep Tayyip Erdogan implied that Turkey would join Israel's military campaign against Gaza. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. After Erdogan claimed in a speech on Sunday that there is no reason that Turkey could not respond, citing military operations conducted in other nations in the past, Turkish and Israeli officials traded jabs with one another on Sunday and Monday. Although there has been frequent use of foul language between the two nations during the Gaza war, the threats and insults coincide with growing concerns about a greater escalation. Israeli Foreign Minister Israel Katz claimed shortly after Erdogan's speech that by threatening to attack Israel, the Turkish president was following in the footsteps of former Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein in a post on X. He replied, just let him remember what happened there and how it ended, alluding to the notorious 2003 capture of the Iraqi president by his soldiers as he hid in a subterranean hole next to a Tikrit farmhouse. Hussein was later put to death. Turkey retaliated by drawing comparisons between Adolf Hitler and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Not for the first time. The Turkish Ministry of Foreign Affairs declared, genocidal Netanyahu will end just as genocidal Hitler did. Those who attempt to destroy the Palestinian people will be held accountable, just as the genocidal Nazis were. The message went on, people will support the Palestinians. It is impossible for you to eradicate the Palestinian people. The conscience of humanity. Erdogan, who has continuously used forceful language throughout Israel's 10-month-long war in Gaza, hinted on Sunday that Turkey would launch a military intervention in a speech to his ruling Justice and Development Party. In order to stop Israel from doing these absurd things to Palestine, we must be really powerful. We can act similarly to them, just as we did when we entered Libya and Karabakh, he remarked. In 2020, Turkey, which supports Libyan Prime Minister Abdul Hamid Dabiaba's administration in Tripoli, dispatched soldiers to the war-torn nation in North Africa to assist the UN-backed government. Turkey has refuted any direct military actions in the separatist area of Nagorno-Karabakh, over which Ankara's Ali Azerbaijan has fought Armenia for decades. However, it has promised to back Azerbaijan by all means, which includes modernizing and training the military as well as supplying cutting-edge combat drones and other military hardware. Erdogan has become the voice of humanity's conscience. Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan claimed in a post on X on Monday, he wrote, There is great alarm among international Zionist circles, especially Israel, who wish to suppress this righteous voice. Genociders and their supporters met a similar end in history. Six months into the Gaza war, Turkey said in April that it was restricting some shipments to Israel and that it had stopped all trade with Israel in early May. In reprisal, Israel declared it will sever its free trade deal with Turkey. However, Israeli Finance Minister Bezalel Smotrich hinted that the decision would be reversible if Erdogan is succeeded by a leader that is sane and not a hater of Israel. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan was singled out by a top Turkish official on Monday, who said that the Israeli government was attempting to hide your war crimes in response to Erdogan's apparent invasion of Israel. Erdogan's chief communications officer, Faritin Altun, stated on social media site X that individuals who pose a danger to the president do so at their own peril. The Post announced what Israel was doing in Gaza to the Palestinian people. Erdogan had addressed the military actions of Israel in a late Sunday televised speech to officials of the ruling party. We might act similarly to them, just as we entered Libya and Karabakh, he remarked. There's no reason this can't be done. To be able to do these actions, we need to be strong. Erdogan, who has harshly criticized Israel's Gaza offensive, appeared to be alluding to Turkey's engagement in the crisis in Libya, as well as its backing of Azerbaijan in its conflict with Armenian rebels in Nagorno-Karabakh. Israel Katz, the Israeli foreign minister, retorted that Erdogan threatens to attack Israel and follows in the footsteps of Saddam Hussein. 
Photos of Erdogan and the previous leader of Iraq, who was put to death in 2006 for crimes against humanity, were included in the post. Kat said, just let him remember what happened there and how it ended. Turkey, a member of NATO, accommodates Hamas officials while presenting itself as a fervent advocate for Palestinian rights. Erdogan has referred to Hamas as a resistance movement, despite the fact that it is commonly perceived in the West as a terrorist organization. Erdogan denounced Israel's proposal to establish a 40-kilometer long and 12-kilometer wide buffer zone in Gaza, saying that Gaza is the property of the Palestinian people and that the latter would decide who will rule it. The best thing Israel can do is to accept the establishment of an independent Palestinian state within the 1967 borders and return the occupied Palestinian territories to their rightful owners, Erdogan stated. President Erdogan stressed the need for Gaza to be rebuilt and reconstructed, saying, We will strengthen our dialogue with Gulf countries to achieve the goal of healing the wounds of our Palestinian brothers and sisters and establishing an independent Palestinian state on the basis of the 1967 borders. He said, We say, See, hear, proclaim the truth now. To those who have eyes and do not perceive the oppression, ears and tongues that do not hear the truth. We will step up our engagement with Gulf nations to heal the wounds of our Palestinian brothers and sisters and work towards the establishment of an independent Palestinian state based on the 1967 boundaries in an effort to fortify dialogue with them. Israeli Settler Terrorism Israel needs to remove the terrorists. They mark it as settlers from those houses and lands and think about how they can build a peaceful future with the Palestinians. President Erdogan said in reference to the growing violence committed by illegal Israeli settlers on Palestinian land, he made note of the accusations against Hamas that have been going around, saying Hamas is, above all, a resistance organization. The political movement known as Hamas won the elections that were conducted in Palestine. The political movement known as Hamas had their territory stolen from them in 1947. Currently, Hamas is working to defend its own territory. He continued, he also underlined how Israel has been trying to discipline Gaza in its own manner by turning it into an open-air prison for years and imposing limits on food, clothing, water, and electricity. More and more people are taking to the streets to express their support for Palestine. He criticized the U.S. and other Western nations for their constant support of Israel, saying that the substantial financial, military, and material support provided by these countries has propelled Israel to its current position. He declared, Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu is currently in a bankrupt situation and may raise the bankruptcy flag at any moment, recalling that there had been a trial against him in Israel before to the strikes on Gaza. He stated that we, on the other hand, have applied to the International Criminal Court with around 3,000 lawyers from various parts of the world for the international trial of Netanyahu and his accomplices. That's all for today's video. He goes on to discuss how more and more people are demonstrating their support for the Palestinian cause in the streets of London, in front of the White House in New York, in Paris, Belgium, and the Netherlands. He stated that everyone here demands an end to the horrors occurring in the beleaguered Palestinian territory. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button to avoid missing any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.